Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, boomers and zoomers alike, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you my lovely little multi-tool that I have made for Blade and Soul. This is made as a sort of like a drop-in replacement of BNS Buddy. This combines things like effect remover and everything else into one simple tool. And I did this simply because I don't like using multiple tools and I do not like using BNS Buddy anymore. It is something that I feel is outdated and it is what it is. I originally made this for me and some clan members to use, but I'm deciding to just give it to everyone. So let's go ahead and dive into it and see how the application works and all the other fun stuff. Uh, so when you open up the window, you can drag it by just left clicking and holding anywhere. It'll show the ping. By default, it's going to be NA unless you select a region otherwise. In the top right, we have the pin icon. The pin icon is basically a minimize, and when you minimize it, it goes into the task tray. You want to pull it back up you can just click on the icon and it'll pull up it's a double click by the way uh, you have your version and then you have your download which is there's a built-in updater to it so you should be able to pull all the information if you've never installed mod police tools such as uh, well if you haven't installed the mod police tools for BNS patch and plugin loader first thing you want to do is go into the mod police page and in this page you have your Blade and Soul location. By default, this should automatically select where the game is based off of the registry entry, but everything's hit or miss, so please make sure this is the correct location of where your game is installed. Uh, it'll tell you whether or not if Plugin Loader or BNS Patch was found in both uh, 32 and 64-bit versions. If neither one are installed, then it'll say not installed. <coughs> uh, you have a download button. This will automatically download the latest version from the mega folder uh, that Palau has. And it will also create an additional folder called Mod Police next to the application, which is where these will go. If these are currently here, then the install button will be available and you can click install. It will automatically unpack and move the files where they need to be and you're pretty much good to go. As you see, we have plugin loader set up. Uh, for the next tab, we're going to go down and up. So for the next tab, we have the mod tab. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this is designed to be sort of backwards compatible with BNS Buddy. So mods are based off of English location. So before you start putting mods somewhere, make sure that you have the language that you're using set up first. Then you can go into the mod folder and hit apply. So, you know, if I wanted to, I can just remove this. And there we go. I no longer have the UI effects removed. Uh, for the next tab, whoops, wrong one. For the next tab, we have the effects tab. This is a combination of both removing class animations and class skill effects. The very first option will be the is what we call the effect remover. There was a separate tool already made for this. This is a very important thing if you're trying to play 32-bit without crashing. You need this without a doubt. You need to disable effects. Uh, as always, make sure you have your UPK backup location set beforehand. If you do not, then you know. Oh, we get the sad. Pe we get the sad people. We don't want the sad people. But yes, make sure that your UPK backup location is set. Otherwise, removing uh, skill effects and class animations will not work. The remove additional effects is a legacy option from a much older version. Uh, essentially what this does is this pretty much nukes everything third spec FM related because there is currently the third spec skill effects are merged in with animation files as well. But it's equivalent to just turning the Force Master on and off. Uh, if we want to remove our effects, you can remove our effects. Uh, additionally, you know, should be self-explanatory. We have class animations down below. You can toggle off specific classes, or you can just turn them all off or all on, depending on how you want it to be done. That pretty much sums it up for this. Um, now we have our patches. This is set up very weird. I don't know why I designed it like this. I'll probably change it later on in the future. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much just toggle on what add-ons that you want and what patches you want loaded into the game. Clicking the manager will take you to the folder which is automatically created. This is where you're going to dump all of your add-ons and XMLs. Uh, like I said, I'll probably change this in the future. This was really, like the way I'm doing it is really dumb. I don't know why I did it like this. I'm just really lazy. 
Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much self-explanatory. Then last but not least, we have the launcher section. The launcher section requires a login helper to be installed. If login helper is not installed, this whole part will not work of the tool whatsoever. Um, if you're wondering what is login helper, login helper essentially uses the in-game login XML to automatically log you in and automatically enter your pin code. If you do not want your pin code to be automatically input, then don't put a pin code. It's as simple as that. Uh, so you just put your email, password, and pin code in and hit save. If you don't have any of the correct fields filled out, it'll be like, hey, you know, people, what the fuck? Uh, and, then and then afterwards, you can select your account. I'm just going to move it off because I didn't remove the text for that, but yeah, my account selected. If you don't have login helper installed, you'll get an error. But don't worry. We have an automatic installer ready to set you up. All you do is click the button and it'll automatically download the latest version. Look at it go. Look at him go. Yeah, he's so happy. Uh, so, pretty much... Ah, something just crawled down my back. That's creepy. Um, as always, you have your uh, client version that you want to run. You can either run 32-bit or 64-bit. You have your region, which only supports NA and EU. Sorry, I'm not doing this for other regions because I really don't care. Then, of course, you have your language selection, and you have your two most important uh, launch params, uh, params, parameters. <laughs> uh, the fun thing about this login, the fun thing about using the in-game login XML with Login Helper is that you can log into the same account on both NA and EU at the same time. Now, you're probably going, well, what's the use of this? Well, I'll tell you what. Double daily dash spin. What up, dude? Uh, in the bottom right, we'll have active processes. This will tell you what processes are running. Uh, if you double click on the process, it'll automatically kill it. So I'll also launch my EU client as well, and we'll just let this load up. If you minimize this to the ta uh, task tray, uh, it will automatically open when there is no client detected as running. So, fun times, right? Fun times, fun times. I'll even show that in a second. I'll just move this over here. So, you see I'm logged on to the EU, and I should also be logged on to the NA. So I'm logged in the NA and EU both at the same time. If I kill both processes, uh, the application will automatically open back up. Uh, that's pretty much it for that. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tool. I just did this because, like I said, I don't like BNS Buddy. I don't like having to use multiple tools to accomplish a task. I like it to be done in one single tool. So... Yeah, if you guys want to support me, you could support me with, uh, through PayPal. I, I don't really care. It's up to you. I'm not begging for your money or anything like that, but it's an option. So, uh, as always, this is not pos This wouldn't be possible without Palau and uh, Hora. And if I pronounce your name wrong, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm I'm a white boy. I'm retarded. But yes, this would not be possible with either Palau or without either Palau or Hora. They both made this possible for me to make this launcher to work the way, or this multi-tool to work the way that it does. So with that said, y'all have a good day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the event, <laughs> major money. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, deuces.